What's up guys, welcome back to Piggy Garage. Today I am reviewing the Kranzla 1122 TST model uh, just for that car enthusiast or at home detailer or even if you're trying to pick one of these up for you know your, your showroom or even if you're you know cleaning, whatever it may be, this pressure washer has you know a big hype around it. It's one of the best pressure washers that you can buy for the money. I don't think there is a pressure washer out there that's gotten more you know hype than this pressure washer. So today I'm um, at Atlantic Pressure Washers and I got this kind gentleman here to uh, you know give you an in-depth review or detail about what goes in to making this thing and why it is the best. So I'm Reginald Josh with uh, Atlantic Pressure Washers in Krenzel, USA. Uh, as what's your first name? Matt. As Matt was discussing. Uh, He's going to be demonstrating the Krenzler K1122 TST. This is the, arguably the most popular 110 volt model that Krenzler makes in the, for sale in the United States. Uh, packs a lot of power, um, made with the best materials. You'll notice, I like to say we sell them by the pound because this unit weighs about 70 pounds. The way it sits right now um, goes towards <clears throat> the quality of the materials, uh, solid copper wound motors, uh, high quality brass pump head, um, freeze proof pump head assembly. I mean, no other pump on the market can be run dry. I mean, this is one of the best pressure, well, it is the best pressure washer in the world. And uh, we really like it. Yeah, and like some of the things to, to note about this. So this is what you get out of the box. Everything that you see comes with the pressure washer. As, uh, as he said, it is a super heavy pressure washer. So the first time you pick it up, it's kind of unbelievable how heavy it is, but that just goes right to uh, you know show you that this thing was built with quality parts. You get the 10 meter hose, which is uh, around 33 feet, you, mm -hmm. you would say. Um, you get the uh, stock wand, um, these two uh, utensils, this nos as you, nozzle, as you'll see, can go from a zero degree to a 40 degree. Um, you have a nice long extension uh, cable for powering the pressure washer. Here on the side, you have what you would use to, you know, um, put into a suds bucket. What what other things that you, I, I don't really know, like for cleaning products, you would you could use yeah, that. Yeah, it's just right? a downstream detergent injector, so it'll siphon chemical into the outbound stream whenever it's whenever you initiate low pressure with the variable nozzle. And I'll demonstrate that when I get to uh, you know rinsing down my car and uh, washing it with the uh, Kranzla um, foam cannon. Um, but I mean, it's really high quality parts. What I also like is this uh, nice reel, so it's easy um, to stow away, you know, real quick and easy system for, you know, hooking your water up, washing your car, washing whatever you need to do. Also, it's really easy to, you know, maneuver. Uh, it, it being such a heavy pressure washer, that was my biggest concern is how am I gonna move this thing? But it's, you know, the wheels are super quality or high quality easy to um, you know stow away wherever you may need to go with it if you need to take it you know in the house or around the house or just to wash your car from taking it outside of your garage um, how long does one of these units you know last per se I mean I don't think there's many issues that go wrong with it since it's so much uh, research and development going into it but so the Krenzel pump is built with the highest quality materials is very serviceable so as far as serviceability I've had customers that own Krenzel electric pressure washers that were 20 to 23 years old that we've serviced um, I've been I've worked for the company for 14 years and I've seen many repeat customers that bought their machine 14 years ago that have brought it in for routine maintenance since and machines keep keep working um, it's important to pay attention to the details as far as the maintenance schedule for this, just at least. The performance of the machine when it starts to misbehave, all the symptoms will indicate something of serviceability. And if it's taken care of, you know, in, in a reasonable, yeah, yeah, in advance, um, I mean, they'll, they'll run forever. Right. So. Um, also, another, a couple things to add. Um, as we were talking a little bit behind the scenes, you also want to run this pressure washer laying down. Um, uh, what, what is that? What is the reasoning behind that? So, the lubrication system and the transmission of the pump works 
best if it's laying down flat because all the oil will be within the transmission housing. Whenever it's standing upright, the fluid uh, basically just settles into the overflow of the oil housing. So it's not lubricating the right areas for, for operation whenever it's operating. Right. And then another thing to uh, point out is he suggested not using a quick connect for your actual um, hose, uh, you know, well, your water supply in. hose connection. Okay, that's the proper word. Supply hose connection. Just use uh, the stock. Uh, what do you call it? Thread or yeah, the garden hose, male garden hose connection. Yeah. Um, as down the road, if you want to explain what that leads to, you know, just air. well, pressure washers are not forgiving of conditions where they're fed an inadequate amount of water or water that has been aerated and whenever the water becomes aerated, it'll cause cavitation in the pump, which will very rapidly accelerate the deterioration of the water seals um, and some other wear components in the pump. So it can lead to pump failure if there's leaking connections. Quick disconnects are, are commonly seal under positive pressure. So if there is some issue where this might be calling for a demand of water where there's where your supply may have a hiccup or a little bit of a fluctuation. Air can be introduced in uh, into those garden hose quick disconnects because they're not they're not as critically designed for to be leak proof as they are for the purpose of convenience. So with your your garden hose nozzle for you know watering your plants, it doesn't matter if it trickles out of the handle a little bit, but the pressure washer is, is more sensitive to whether or not that flow is being uh, aerated or any kind of turbulence is taking place. So, Right. And I, I, I really appreciated that type of advice because uh, I, I see a lot of people online going for all quick disconnect as it is a... Um, but guys, uh, I was really appreciative because everyone is running the quick disconnect, quick disconnect here, quick disconnect there, and I, I get it, it's a time thing, but um, there's, there's a difference between, you know, time and, you know, making sure that your, your pressure washer maintains its reliability and use time after time. So I really appreciated that because I was looking into getting a garden hose quick disconnect uh, for my system at home. Um, and you know, that can save your system just that little bit of knowledge. Um, one thing to know real quick guys is that Atlantic pressure washers uh, does um, have a slew of different pressure washers and things that they can uh, provide to you guys. Um, some things being like, well, we, if you can find it on the internet for any type of pressure washer part, we can either source it as well, or we can build our own alternative to it. And we stock guns, lances, quick disconnects, um, water tanks, uh, a whole variety of cleaning detergents and chemicals. Um, all the preventative maintenance products that you would need, you know, oil for all the different manufacturers of the pumps. Uh, we carry a lot of pump repair kits for other manufacturers also. We service all makes and models of pressure washers. So I've seen just about every maker model of pressure washer out there. And uh, yeah, so I mean, any of your commercial or any kind of high pressure cleaning needs, we've got, got what you need. They can do it. So I'll make another video, guys, showing you guys this awesome facility that they have and some of the things that they offer. But uh, I mean, if you have a pressure washer and you have any issues with it, you can call these guys, bring it in, they'll take a look at it and most likely fix it for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move to, uh, you know, my first initial use of this pressure washer and, and see uh, just how it operates and how it works. And uh, I'll give you guys my final review. Uh, if you're interested in buying one of these, uh, the links to this pressure washer will be in the description below as you can check that out and also um, the the and also the web page and phone number to Atlantic pressure washers so you guys can call and uh, have any questions that you may have and you can talk to them all right guys so I have the pressure washer set up up there it's by the hose um, one thing that I have to note before even starting this pressure washer for the first time is that this uh, hose that connects to the uh, the wand is super nice quality there's no kinking it's a nice rubber, nice material. Um, you know, if you run this over with your car or someone steps on it, it's not going to um, stop the water flow of the, uh, or stop the water flow going to the gun and coming out. So uh, I'm going to start for the first time. So this is uh, all stock equipment, stock, uh, stock wand, stock gun, everything. 
is uh, what comes with the Karcher or the Kranzla uh, from the beginning, uh, right out of the box. This is everything that you get. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my car down. One thing that I do have to note is that it's super quiet, super quiet, which is an awesome thing. If you live in like an urban neighborhood or you know with your neighbors beside each other, you're not gonna annoy them like you would with a gas pressure washer or even my Karcher 1700. Um, that I have done reviews of is a lot louder than this one. Um, also, everything seals up nicely. You don't have to, you know, go beyond a hand tight. Uh, when you use the unit, make sure that it is laying down. I will show you guys uh, momentarily. Um, it's good for the uh, pressure washer to do that, um, and it doesn't mess things up. Also, another thing to add, uh, which I already touched on, is you do not want to use a quick connect from your actual hose to the unit um, as that can create air in the line and leaks down the line, ruining your machine. So uh, make sure that you're doing a, you know, fast and tight, the old fashioned way. Uh, you can do quick, quick connects, uh, quick disconnects for the hose that actually connects to the wand um, and which actually connects to the, um, you know, output of the unit. Um, but like I said, I mean, you can feel the power of this thing. It's really nice and um, it's just, kind of outstanding and astonishing how quiet the actual unit is. You're not making like any noise, which is also to me something that I love. Um, another thing to touch on is the weight of the unit is crazy. Top quality parts, you can tell that it's built, you know, and you're getting what you pay for. It's not gonna break within a year or two years. A lot of these cheaper pressure washers uh, don't withstand uh, the time, the elements, um, and the water going through them, and they end up breaking after a couple years. But with, uh, with this unit, you can tell that it's built to last, and it's gonna last you a very long time. So it's worth that uh, initial uh, investment price. But I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my car down, uh, see how this thing does. It's really nice. Um, with this uh, stock wand, you can actually change from a 40 degree to a zero degree. Um, allowing you to, you know, not only wash your car, but wash anything that you might might have um, at home, whether that's a sidewalk, your car, truck, anything. Oh, also another thing to note is uh, with the onboard um, soaping or um, you know any type of solution you want to use, you just put it into a bucket and you pull this straight forward and it allows you to use that soapy solution or whatever you want to put in your pressure washer. Uh, this is like an alternative if you don't want to use a foam gun, but I do have a, a Kranzla a uh, foam cannon to show you guys as well after I get done uh, washing down this car. Another thing I like to add about this is that I love that it comes with this nice long top quality hose uh, from the factory. Um, you don't have to deal with, you know, moving the unit every time you need to wash your car. You can literally just set the unit up and walk around the whole entirety of your car. Um, kind of uh, alleviates that need for buying an upgraded uh, hose if you don't want to. Um, it, it's kind of just nice to get everything out of the box. That's nice. Um, I would use my Quick Connect uh, and attach my MTM gun and foam cannon and all those things uh, to this um, Kranzler unit. Um, but just a nice little thing from factory that it's uh, nice and long. So now I am going to foam the car up. I'm not really going to do a full in-depth detail of this uh, of my car today. Uh, I'm just trying to review this uh, uh, Kranzla pressure washer. So it's pretty easy to put the Kranzla the Kranzla foam cannon on this. Um, pretty much all you do is right here you unscrew the wand. And 
you just go ahead and screw in the foam cannon. This is a Kranzla foam cannon, hand tight. And uh, what's cool about this is it can shoot this way or you can turn it. So it's up and down, sorry. And it also, you can change the screen. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this nice little short, compact, uh, you know, unit. Not that heavy, but uh, you can tell this is a nice quality too, just like the, the um, pressure washer. But here's the little unit. So this is what is the wide open stream, and this is what's the, the long stream, and then you can move it. Oh, sorry, I gotta tighten it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my car. Super thick, thick foam, actually. Um, that's because you're getting that, all those GPMs from the unit. Really nice foam action. I would actually be really interested to see uh, what this uh, unit did with, uh, you know, an actual uh, foam, uh, a, a, a soap made for actually foaming, like uh, Adam's Mega Foam or Chemical Guy's Snow Foam. Uh, but I'm really impressed with it. I'd say this foam cannon is just as good as the, the MTM. Um, you can just put a, a quick connect if you have a MTM hose or you can just run this from stock. What's also nice about it is uh, the, ho the hole to fill up, you know, with product or solution, uh, whatever you choose to use. Whatever you choose to use is a, a wide mouth, so uh, it's easy to get your uh, soap product in there. All right, guys. So I pretty much just washed my car down, did a little, you know, crappy detail job, but uh, I just really wanted to test this pressure washer out, see what the hype was about, and I can tell you right now, this thing lives up to everything and all the you know hype around it. It is a top quality pressure washer from you know the great top quality you know stock um, wand uh, hose the unit is super quiet super reliable you can tell just by holding this thing and uh, picking it up uh, being around it using it that it's it's going to last for a very long time the initial purchase price is up there but it's totally justifiable with everything um, that you get you, you, when you purchase this product you can purchase it with belief that it's gonna last you for a super long time. German build quality, it is, I mean, it's an absolute blast to use. So I'm super grateful um, for, for these guys letting me use it. Uh, if you wanna check out this thing and more details uh, and you know purchase one yourself, the link will always be in my description to everything that I use, all my products, all my tools, my pressure washer setup, everything. Um, you know, and quick thing to add is, you know, this thing is great from the factory, but if you want to take it to the next level, you can just literally get a quick disconnect, um, a new wand, stainless steel wand that's a little bit lighter, um, and then the foam gun of your choice. The the uh, Kranzla foam cannon is amazing. I would tr strongly suggest, uh, you know, checking one of those out if you don't have a, a foam cannon like the NTM foam cannon. I think it's a great competitor, and it's amazing what this machine can do. Uh, super impressed, super super grateful for uh, trying one out. Um, if you have this one, I know I will be buying one in the future because uh, it, it's it's an incredible crush washer, and you know that it's going to last year after year after year, time after time after time. Uh, and if you own a de detailing company or you're washing your car every day or a lot of cars, 
you I would just go ahead and make the investment because you can invest in this and you can believe that it's gonna work every day that you come out and you know use it to wash one of your client cars or a car of your own so uh, as always guys thank you so much for watching um, stay tuned for more videos and let me know what other content you would like to see if you'd like another review of another one of the Cransley units um, I, I have already in the books to uh, do another review of these so I'm super grateful and super uh, appreciative uh, for being able to uh, test this bad boy out and uh, as always if you guys have any comments questions or concerns leave a comment and I'll get right back to you thank you